Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is June the 19th, 2022. GameStop, buy now or never. What should we do? Should we come in and be a buyer in GameStop? I know many of you all want to come in and buy GameStop because you still think that the short squeeze is going to happen. Maybe not. Guess what? I'm here. I'm one of the first ones to give you all a heads up as to where I'm suspecting price to go without being confused. Now, there are times to where I come in, do price predictions, and I don't get them right. And guess what? My last video for GameStop, I didn't get my price prediction right. Yeah, you guys can see it right now in front of you. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not hiding anything that I do on my channel because I want to show you all the real. I want to be real and I want to give you all real price predictions. So when the market doesn't go my way, I'm not going to shy away. I'm not going to act like this didn't happen. I'm going to come through and show it to you all because these are still learning opportunities. I can still show you how we can become better predictors in the market. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to the channel because I want to also answer the question, is GameStop a buy now or should we never buy this stock? Now, obviously, when you look at it for what it is, I was looking for the price in GameStop to go down my last video on May the 17th, right? The video is still available. It's in my GameStop playlist. So if you guys want to go back and listen to what I was talking about then, you're more than welcome to. But you guys can already see that the market went up. So buy now or never. Now, seeing that price went up, obviously, that should be a buy now, right? Obviously, you'd be thinking, yeah, you need to come in and buy GameStop because the market is going up rather than going down. OK, cool. Now, I didn't get this last price, but this is correct. Now, let me show you all at what point would you have gotten out the play? Because not only do I want to give you correct price predictions, the ones that I don't get right, I can still show you how you can minimize your losses. So let me show you. After I did my video in GameStop right here, right? Okay, this is when I did the video right here. This is where the price was, okay? Now, following that day, right? I wasn't too concerned with the market going up in GameStop until this day. That is where it all changed because the market in GameStop following my video, right? Following my price prediction, price was still signifying weakness. Like all of these price bars right here signifying that the market was weak, okay? So I wasn't worried. I was just chilling, sitting back, letting the market continue to do what it do. But then this day happened, right? This is the first indication to say, hey, you probably got your idea wrong because a couple of things. Let me go ahead and clean this up because I really want to show you all how this game is meant. So right here, this day, let me point the arrow down to it because I also want to show you the volume because the volume drastically changed on this trading day, May the 25th. Look at the volume. Somebody pushed the price up. Who was it? Who knows? Because I think on the video I was talking about Ray Dalio uh, sold his Tesla stock and bought GameStop, right? This might be him right there, right here on this day. Right, May the 25th. It could be him or Bridgewater actually moving the stock up. Right there is the first indication to say you might be on the wrong side of the trade. That day would not have happened if the market in GameStop really was weak. I understand that. See, that's why I come through and give you all points to when to get in and get out. Because right here on this day, May the 25th, right? Right here on May the 25th, it came to my area of restriction, meaning that if price broke, Above this area, 119, 120, we needed to get out anyway. So in one day, the market went up and GameStop 29%. That was an emphatic get out the way. Yeah, cut the play because the market's going to continue to run up. That is what that one day signifies. Hmm. Did you get out on that day? Because that's around 29% from where I said that I was looking to let the play go. Did you do that? Because if so, you live to see another day. That is where you can minimize your loss. The market gives us the answers that we need. So many people just fail to see it. Yeah, I was looking for the price in GameStop to go down, but it went up instead. I get it. And once I saw this day happen, it was like, all right, cool, cut it. Did you cut the play? Because if you didn't cut the play, that 29.26% loss is increasing. If you were to get on the last trend on Friday, you're around 47 and a quarter percent now. See? This is why you need to know when to get in and when to get out. 
That is why I come through and do these price predictions so you all can see it. Now let's get back to it though, because obviously the strength is here in GameStop. Like, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. Everyone who is interested in GameStop still needs to be seeing the market as strong. This stock is going up, but let's keep it real. What do you see that is currently in the way in GameStop? What do you see? Yes, you see a downtrend line coming into play now. That's the only issue for the buyers. That's it. If the market in GameStop is able to break this downtrend line that I got drawn on my chart, we're going to see this market rally up massively. Okay, we're going to see that. So what I'm going to do, I am going to play on that ascending line. What are the chances of us seeing the price in GameStop breaking this, uh, this downtrend line? What are the chances? Is it 25%? Is it 50%? Is it 75% chance that the market is going to break this downtrend line? We need to try to answer that question because if it's, if it's highly probable that the price is going to break that downtrend line, then we definitely need to be buyers. It's just that simple. So what we're going to do first, we want to look at the market in the long term, right? So let's look at it on the weekly chart, okay? Because what we're here, we are examining how weak or how strong this stock is right now in GameStop. I don't see a lot of weakness on the weekly chart because if the market in GameStop truly was weak, we would not have seen this price bar be created, but it is because this was weakness right there, right? It confirmed that GameStop wanted to go down. We got rejected on this downtrend line. But we didn't get the follow through. The price still ended up higher than the last weekly price bar close. Somebody's trying to take this price up in GameStop. And the second thing that I wanted to show you all is that look at this. The market is grabbing support here. That's not a coincidence. So we need to be buyers into the market and GameStop until we see the market either get rejected on this downtrend line and we fall below $115 at support right there. Now, I might take it a little bit lower because I do like this area as support as well. OK, I like that, too. But look at this on the two weeks. OK, what do you think here? This is the current two weekly price bar in GameStop. Now, from a two weekly perspective, it's kind of like 50 50. You know, we can still see the price get rejected on that downtrend line or we can still see the price break above it because the market opened and closed <laughs> right where it started. So it's mixed. So we really can't be dependent on the two weekly chart as to what the market is really looking forward to. This is it on the three weeks, right? Check this out. This is the last completed three weekly price bar. Look at this one. Those two almost look identical. Like we got to be detectives. We got to figure out what's really going on. And all of this is happening right at this around the same area. Look at this. That's not a coincidence. We really have to believe what we're looking at on price charts. This market is telling us that somebody is trying to push this stock up. Somebody. And what we see at times is that the market is having issues with it, right? Every time the market and GameStop tries to go up following these three weekly price bars, it always comes back down. Are we going to see the move back down in GameStop again? Let's see. Let me clean this up. OK, so look at this. This is GameStop on five weeks. Now we got this upcoming trading week to really see how weak this market or how strong GameStop really is. Look at that one. This market, from my opinion, is to buy only because of all of these five weekly price bars. This market in GameStop is not breaking below this level, $85. It's not. So it looks as if this market in GameStop is trying to move higher. It's just that simple. Just look at the chart. This money, this is money that we're looking at. We are examining how people has been reacting to price levels with their own money. And they don't look like they want to take the price down. So the chances of us actually trying to see this market break this downtrend line is pretty high to me. I would say maybe around 60, 70 percent chance that this market is going to break this downtrend line. Now, if that's the case, how high do you think the market's going to go? Right. How high? Because we've already seen the market in GameStop find some rejection around 160, 150 dollars. Right. So I'm going to keep it real. 
yeah, I didn't get the move right here when the marketing game stop was trading around $82, $80. I didn't grab the move then. But from what I'm seeing, from where price last traded, 150, 160 would have to be that first area for us to grab profitability out the market in GameStop. Okay. And then my second area would be like 165. Okay. So let me go ahead and put this on the chart and let you all get your time back. So yeah, I'm going to play the strength into the market in GameStop. Uh, I definitely like this area down here for support, but the sooner we grab support on any bouts of selling, the better. Okay. But I'm going to hold that here. Now I'm, I'm looking at 150 for us to grab the bag initially. Now that would be 11%. I'll take that. That's my first price target at 150 for a GameStop. Second one is going to be around 160. It might fall a little bit lower than that. 17.82%. And then the third price target is going to be around that 170 price. Okay, now that 170 price, it might take a while. Okay, but once we break this downtrend line, it might be a massive run up real quick. Right? It might just go straight up just like that. But we got to wait and see the market break that first. OK, so that's it. This is my idea. This is where I'm looking for the price in GameStop to go now. Following. The last move. So let me go ahead and bring this ultimate support price down to 100. OK, so I'm going to look for the price in GameStop to go up as long as price stays above $100. All right. So now. It's your turn. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts, your perceptions as to where you think price is going to go without the confusion. Let me know. Make sure you maintain profitability. And as always, trade different.